Hello everyone and welcome to another interview. This time it will be rather short and I am talking about the Google Consent Manager and Google Analytics. Not alone, but with a guest and the guest is Björn from Shopware, Björn Meyer to be precise. Hi Björn. Hi Niklas. Nice to so, have you. <laughs> nice to have you. <laughs> <laughs> um, first thing first, um, what are you doing at Shopware? Um, yeah, I'm I'm the lead for the storefront and the composable front end team. Okay, you are from the product department and you know your way around yes. code. So today I want to talk about the Google Consent Manager. Things are changing, right? But first, before we talk about what changes, for whom it changes, and what you need to do out there about it, um, <clears throat> what, what is the Google Consent Manager? What what are we talking about here? Um, yeah, if you if you are a customer and using Google Analytics, you will have to send some new parameters to to Google to mm -hmm. to be consent. And with the version two, there are two new required parameters you you always have to send. So it's not a big change. It's about Google Analytics, and if you use it, and I think it's also just the default implementation that comes with Shopware. Is that correct? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, it it depends. Also, when you're using Google Analytics with the Google Tag Manager, you mm -hmm. you somehow need to send these parameters also with the Google Tag Manager. Yeah. Okay. So the default implementation changes. It's just two parameters, so not a big deal. Yeah. In theory. Yeah. Okay. So um, a, a small change, and now if I do not implement that change, what happens? Um. Phew. Depends. <laughs> <laughs> things I mean, go wrong. Okay. Things could be, yeah. I mean, um, I guess there's a, a fallback. So basically, the parameters are denied. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I guess your your marketing guys will will talk to you at some point. Okay. So the the analytics still work, but they are not uh, not any that useful anymore because things uh, are just missing. Yes. Okay. Um, and people can't agree to to give you these uh, data anymore. Right. Okay, so it's like a silent fail. It will not immediately be visible. That's just also, by the way, why we're making this video, so that you out there know that when you're using a Google Analytics in your shop and you're using the default implementation, um, make sure that, that you have this update because otherwise your analytics data will be less useful. Now, when we talk about you need to implement this update, what do uh, how do I do this as a shop owner? Yeah, as a shop owner, uh, it depends on which version you are first, mm -hmm. like which shopware version you are using. Um, basically, when you're using um, the newest 6.5 version, it's already um, included in the, in the core code, so you don't need to change anything it's already there well it's when you six five eight six correct six five eight six yeah that's right mm -hmm. and yeah um below that version we have different ways to do it so um the easiest way is we providing some some plugin where you can just install via the administration mm -hmm. by uploading the zip or requiring it in composer also works yes right? Yeah, okay. you can require it in Composer or just going in the administration and mm -hmm. upload the zip. Yeah, or you do a custom way like using the patched, um, yeah, creating a patch file and just apply, apply that changes to your core. To the core. Yeah, um, so <laughs> naturally you do not want to use the patch method if you can avoid it, right? Because patching the core is not the best idea, although you can do it. But uh, so either updating to the latest patch version of Shopware 6.5.8, okay, so many numbers, um, or installing the plugin, which coincidentally, the, you you created that plugin, right? Yeah, accidentally, <laughs> I was creating that plugin. Um, so uh, just, okay, now to to wrap the first thing up we are talking about here, you out there need to make sure if you're using Google Analytics that this still works after 
March 2024, which is like in, I think, five working days from now when we are doing this video. So it's soon you need to act. Um, nothing will go horribly wrong if you don't, but things start to get worse in terms of analytics. And to do this, you can either update shopware, install the plugin or patch it yourself. Um, the lowest uh, supported version by the plugin, I think, is 640, right? Yeah. So everything below that, you're basically on your own, but also that's very old software you should update. Um, and then if, if you are below Shopware 640, then uh, make sure you will if you do uh, use the patch file and somehow understand it, apply it to your shop. Okay. Um, all the links below in the description, of course. Okay. Now, you, uh, what you did basically, Bjorn, you took a patch file from Git, or code from Git, I don't know, and then magic and plugin. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about that, pretty quick? Yeah, yeah. Ba basically, um, yeah. To Toby, one of my developer um, from Stoffen team, um, mm -hmm. was yeah integrating everything into the newest chopper version, also in the six point six. And basically, I just looked at his changes, created a plugin, and yeah make the plugin work i would say yeah so ba basically there's just a, a cookie provider interface and a bit of a javascript and i just make sure that it's um yeah executed after after core changes like yeah extending so writing, a, writing the tests was the hardest part or the, the most time consuming part the most time consuming part was really to to test if the consent update and changes are uh, going through uh, to Google with Google Tech Manager. There's a div, uh, test mode you can use and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So that was uh, basically the, the most time consuming here. Okay, but that's uh, actually amazing. Just taking taking something from a newer version and repackaging repack it as a patch for older version doesn't work with all code, but that's nice. Okay, um, one small thing I want to add at the recording of this video, Shopware 6.6 .6 is not the newest version. It is the version currently available as a release candidate that will be released later. Yes. So don't get scared. 6.6, .6, if you watch it at release, this video 6.6 .6 is not out yet. We are in the release candidate phase. Bjorn, thank you very much for giving us this information. And to everyone out there, make sure you update your stuff uh, so that your analytics stay, uh, yeah, Viable? Do you say that? Viable? Viable. Usable. Then, useful. Yes. Useful. 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 It's useful. It's <laughs> just useful. Nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Bjorn, and see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.